Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see how the person that is on your mind when it comes to love truly feels about you currently. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of this person's true feelings for you currently, we have alone time, deception, the four of swords, and we also have the nine of wands. Now, when it comes to this person's true feelings about you, for one, um, there's something about this person's nerves. I feel like they're either nervous or this person may be experiencing some anxiety or they're just really all over the place because ever since I've shuffled, um, I got really jittery. So if you notice that my hands are shaking while I'm holding cards, just don't pay any attention. I feel as though this person is either really nervous about something or they're all over the place when it comes to you, okay? Now, this person, they feel as though you want to be left alone, all right? They feel as though you may be spending more time by yourself or like you may want them to leave you alone. But at the same time, those of you that have been distancing yourself from this person, they feel as though there's deception behind it. It's almost as though this person feels as though um, like you have some tricks up your sleeve or you're trying to make things go a certain way or get a certain reaction out of them by distancing yourself. But I feel as though the alone time or you wanting to be left alone is basically because you're wanting to balance your emotions or you feel more balanced when you're not dealing with this person. And I also feel as though for some of you, um, you may be distancing yourself because you feel as though this person is very deceptive. I do feel as though there is deceptive energy surrounding this person. This is someone that you definitely cannot trust. You guys are pretty much in the energy of, okay, well, if I can't trust you, I have no use for you. It's almost like that type of energy. I feel like you're just tired of this person's deceptive behaviors. With this four of swords being here along with this nine of wands, I feel as though this person, when it comes to you, they feel like you're not really doing anything, like you're not taking a lot of action. They may feel as though um, whatever energy you were putting into the connection or whatever effort you were putting in at some point in time, they feel as though you're no longer putting in that same effort. They also feel as though you're very guarded and that's one thing that they're worried about. Those of you that haven't been taking much action toward this person, they're worried. It's almost like, they feel as though they've done too much with this nine of wands. Now, for some of you, if at any point in time, this person was reaching out to you a lot, or if they start, um, well, if at any point in time, this person was reaching out to you a lot, and then all of a sudden they start distancing themselves, or they act as though they just want you to leave them alone, or they want to be alone, or they don't want to deal with you or something of that nature. That's this person's strategy. It's deceptive, okay? That's their way of trying to reel you in. Um, they may have done this in the past or they may do so in the future, but if they do it in the future and even if they've done it in the past, them distancing themselves or making it seem as though they don't want to be bothered by you, I feel as though it made things worse for them, okay? They're almost looking at it like, Dang, me falling back, it just made things worse. So this is something that this person has either tried to do or they will try to do. And it's blowing up in your face type of energy. Okay. So yeah, a lot of you just want to be left alone because... Dealing with this person is just too painful. Holding on to the connection is too painful. I feel as though this person put you through a vicious cycle. It was always the same thing. Every time you look around, there's always something with this person. And for a lot of you, like I said, they were putting you through a cycle. Um, it's almost like they were wasting your time and wasn't giving you anything solid. So a lot of you, you may have felt foolish at some point in time, or if you try to make things work with this person in the future, you may find yourself feeling a little foolish because 
you know, it's almost like some of you feel like, dang, why did I even try to make things work with this clown? Why, why did I even try to make things work with them when it's obvious they're not going to give me anything solid because, you know, they've taken me through the same things over and over. This is someone that's not learning lessons. They just keep doing the same thing. For some of you, um, wherever they work, people are gossiping about them. People are talking about this person. They see them as a clown or they see this person as a big jokey joke okay so no one takes this person seriously people are gossiping about some of the immature things that this person has done now for some of you if um if this person has ever gossiped to people about you because i feel as though they have it looks like they have gossiped about you at work or either they've gossiped to maybe friends or family members about you trying to make it seem as though you're the one that was um, making it hard for things to work between the two of you. But the same people that they're gossiping to about you and trying to make you look like the deceptive one too, those same people are talking about them like, dang, this person is a, a, a fool for not making things work or not giving Mystic Goddess's viewer a solid offer. People know that this person, um, it's almost like they have a reputation of playing with people, playing with people that they get involved with, but it's like, you're the one that got away for some of you. Um, this person may have told people that you are the type that have casual sex with multiple people or something of that nature. And that's why things didn't work. But people are still looking at this person as a clown because I really feel it. So they're gaslighting or projecting what they're the ones that, um, is, or has been having casual sex with different people. Okay. But they're trying to make it seem as though it's you and the people that they're gossiping to, they're aware that this person deals with multiple people at one time. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. for some of you they may have told people that they only wanted sex from you or that you only wanted sex regardless people are looking at them foolishly for some of you they pillow talked about you with the people that they've had sex with like if they were dealing with someone on a sexual level they may have talked about you to this person really really um childish energy but yeah, this person, they feel as though, and it doesn't make it true. This is just how they feel. They feel as though um, you're spending more time alone or like you're acting as though you want them to leave you alone, but that you don't really mean it and that you really want to fight for this. So they feel as though you're playing a game. Okay. And like I said, for some of you, the roles are reversed. This person may have made it seem as though they wanted you to leave them alone, or they may do that in the future. If you have been putting in effort toward this person. So if they aren't putting in any action toward you, or they suddenly stop putting in action toward you, it's all, it's all deception. They're doing it because they want to see if you're willing to fight for it. Okay. It's almost like this person wants you to compete for them or something. Ugh, this was a lot maybe it's because i've been um <laughs> i haven't done a reading for you guys in a while but i'm back and better than ever so let's get into it so yeah they want to come in with an offer but i feel as though a lot of you are going to be very very logical when this person comes in some of you have um grown cold toward this person okay you know what you need to do with this king of swords energy being here I feel as though a lot of you have detached for, from this person or you know that you need to because this person brings a lot of drama into your life. Also, I feel as though they're going to come in with communication and their main intention is going to be to start drama or to start a fight with you. Hmm. This person also... Um, for some of you, they're going to accuse you of having another lover or this person may say something to you about them having another lover, but it's all to cause drama. Okay. They want to start a fight with you or start an argument. They feel as though you've changed. Okay. You definitely have grown spiritually. You guys have been um, listening to your intuition. If you haven't, you need to. 
I feel as though for a lot of you, your intuition has been telling you to keep moving forward. I feel as though this person, when it comes to you, they think you still want an opportunity with them, okay? But they feel as though you're being quiet about it or you're not really letting them um, know. Now, for some of you, they may feel as though you want like, they may feel as though you're having like intimate encounters with someone else that, you know, you're trying to keep on the hush. Doesn't make it true. That's just how they feel. But this person, they have a lot of karmic lessons here and they're not learning. They're not learning. I'm also getting like opportunist vibes. But yeah, I feel like this person tries to get with whoever presents the best opportunity. Like I said, it's opportunist and energy whoever can provide stability for this person or whoever will um help them out or whoever they can gain stability from that's who they're going to try to get with so for some of you this person they want a new opportunity with you but there's hidden motives behind it it's like they feel as though you're a blessing or you would be a blessing to them they feel as though if they would were to get together with you that they would gain more stability in their life hmm. you guys have definitely been withdrawing i also feel as though a lot of you have been trying to withdraw when it comes to your emotions okay this person see them causing drama or coming to you trying to start an argument or something like that it's all because they want to get you in your feelings this person feels as though other people may be competing for you doesn't make it true that's just how they feel okay and that's putting them in their feelings they feel as though you are talking to other options also i feel as though this person when it comes to you they know you can't easily be fooled. I feel like this person at some point in time may have tried to pull the wool over your eyes. For some of you, um, they may have said things or if they're on social media, they may try and post things to make it seem like they're dealing with someone else. But it's all just to put you in your feelings. They're trying to get a reaction. It's almost like they want you to see that they're talking to other people or they want you to think that they found better or something of that nature. But like I said, they're not able to get over on you. I feel as though at some point in time, your emotions may have um, caused you to disregard red flags or your emotions from the, for this person may have clouded your judgment or caused a lot of confusion for you because you saw things very clearly. You were fully aware that this person is deceptive or was deceptive. But I feel like those of you that really loved and cared for this person, you may have turned a blind eye to the deception or those red flags. But see, now you're turning your back to the illusions i feel like at one point in time you guys may have even fantasized about um having a long-term committed relationship with this person or the two of you just really being in a very happy stable connection but it's almost like you're realizing that it's um it's like a dream like, that's just not the case. This person needs to grow up. I also feel as though those of you that are withdrawing from this person, it's making you stronger. You guys have gained a lot of wisdom. I feel as though for some of you, this person may come in looking for a good time. And a lot of you aren't interested in that. Your intuition is so on point. Like, my goodness. You have the hermit and the high priestess. And the King of Cups, like that's very strong intuitive energy. I also feel as though for some of you, this person, now they feel as though almost like it's like they want to accuse you of being bitter or they want to accuse you of being cold toward them. 
but I feel as though you're not bitter or cold. You just know what you want and what you don't want. You're aware of this person um, being, it's like you're aware that they're trying to sell you a dream. Okay. And you're not with that. The queen of swords is here. So you have clarity. It's, it's like you're cutting out anything or anyone that um, you can't trust or anyone that's coming in to waste your time. Some of you have other options coming in, like other people interested. And when it comes to them, anyone that's not who they seem to be, anyone putting on a show, you guys are going to be cutting them out. For some of you, I feel as though um, some of you cut this person out because of another lover very specific message here some of you may have found out about this person um either getting pregnant by someone else or either getting pregnant by someone else or getting someone else pregnant and that's specific so take it if it fits leave it if it doesn't but there's a lot of abundance because you have cut people out or you will be cutting out people that are not of your highest good there's a lot of long-term success and growth coming in for you a lot of abundance see this person they're not meant to share in it they were meant to come into your life teach you lessons um teach you some karmic lessons okay or bring in karmic lessons and a lot of you have learned those lessons and so this person's karma is you being successful you being happy um you growing this is glow up energy this is glow up energy so it's like this person is wanting success they're wanting abundance but you're getting it you're gonna get it or you have gotten it for some of you and it's going to be long term. This is something old to you. For some of you, they feel as though um, they're more attracted to you than you used than they used to be. There's something about your looks here. Some of you will be changing up your look or, or trying something new. For some of you, if you're able to have children, be careful about this person trying to trap you with a child because they feel as though they can keep you in a toxic cycle by um, having children with you or using um, the children against you, using the children to keep you there or keep you in a cycle if you already have children with them. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. So yeah, also those of you that are at a crossroads when it comes to this person, spirit wants you to use your intuition. This person would just block your happiness, okay? They're going to come in though, offering you a new relationship or wanting to make things work, but see, it's deception behind it. This is someone that will make you think they want to settle down when in reality, they still want to play the field, also another specific message and this is for those of you that have thought about this intuitively or if it's come to you in an intuitive way if you've ever questioned this person's sexuality there is um there's something here with sexuality that this person's trying to hide so if your intuition has been telling you like i think this person's on the dl or you know i think that they're you know, there's something with their sexuality. That's that's that is true. So take that if it fits, leave it if it doesn't. For some of you, that's why this person, like when they get in relationships, it doesn't work out because if you feel as though this person is ha is on the DL, you know, things aren't working out with the sex that they're pretending to be into because that's not who they really want or they want to deal with both sexes okay so that's definitely um that's for some of you that's why there hasn't been any growth or that's why the relationship just never goes anywhere it's because this person like for some of you they they have some things they're hiding it looks like they're more bisexual so if they're trying to make it seem as though they're straight, they may be bisexual. Or if they are trying to make you think that they're only interested in the same sex, they're actually bisexual. Okay. 
So take that however it fits. But they want to come in with communication. They want you to believe whatever it is that they say to you. Okay. But I feel as though for a lot of you, you're going to be guarded. You're going to have your guard up. And it's important for you to keep your guard up because this person's going to come in trying to say all of the right things. But what they're really trying to do is trap you. They want you to give to this connection again. They want you to give to the connection. This is someone that wants to manipulate you. For some of you, they need help financially. For others of you, they just want you to always give your time and energy to them, but they don't want to give you the same in return. But this person's going through karma right now, and they're going to be stuck in it for a while. For some of you, this person may end up getting incarcerated at some point in time. It could be for drugs, for alcohol, DUI, um, something that they, they have to pay out that they haven't paid probation something like that child support it'll be different for everyone but i see someone getting incarcerated oh that was a lot wasn't it oh they are all over the place but yeah this is someone that wants to break down your boundaries and they want to do it all for their own selfish intentions all right, so let's get more messages. Give me more, please, Holy Spirit, in regards to this person's true feelings for my viewers when it comes to love at the time that my viewers watch this reading. When it comes to the person that is on my viewer's mind, when it comes to love at the time that my viewers watch this reading, what is that person's true feelings for my viewers? Two more shuffles. All right, so let's see what else comes out. All right, so at the bottom of the deck is ego. So this person, they think that you are in your ego right now, or they think that you're working out of your ego. Um, for some of you, it's like they feel as though you want to do things on your timing, like it has to be your way or no way. Um, doesn't make it true. I just feel as though a lot of you, when it comes to this person, I feel as though they're making it seem, this person is making it seem like you're working out of ego, but I feel as though it's self-love. Like you just know what you do and don't want. Also be careful about this person coming in, trying to affect your ego in some way, shape or form. Okay. Playing games. So, yeah, be careful about this person trying to um, piss you off by playing games with you. It's almost like they want to break your ego or they want to affect your ego or affect your confidence. Give me more, please, Holy Spirit, when it comes to this person. What are their true feelings for my viewers currently? Thank you. All right, so we have sex. And see, that fell out right on top of ego. Huh. So for some of you, when it comes to this person, I, those of you that have been intimate with this person, like you, you really put it on them. You really did because perfect matches at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, either if you've been intimate with them, they feel as though the sex between the two of you was perfect. Okay. If you haven't been intimate with them, they feel as though... Sex between the two of you would be perfect. Huh. This person may um, even try to go as far as having a sexual encounter with you. Um, but at the same time, when they come in wanting to have this sexual encounter... It's for their own benefit. It's almost like they want you to bite the apple. They feel as though they could get their way with you if they could just get you in the bedroom. Give me more in regards to this person's true feelings. Escapism. So they feel like you're getting away. They feel as though you are getting away. They may also feel as though you're use, like, like you're using something or someone else to distract you from them. 
or that there's someone else in your life that's distracting you from this connection that may or may not be true i feel like this person definitely they definitely do things to distract themselves whether it's drinking whether it's dealing with third parties it's like they try to um they think about you a lot and they try to use alcohol drugs other people to distract themselves from you mm. give me more in regards to this person's true feelings for my viewers currently thank you rushing in see they want to rush in toward you but see a lot of you are practicing like i said self-love and also for some of you spirit is saying when this person rushes in make sure that you are practicing self-love okay making your happiness a priority meaning if this person doesn't make you happy when they come in you need to you know escape okay go in the other direction don't accept this person's offer if if they don't make you happy well no one can make you happy happiness is within but if this person is not of your highest good spirit doesn't want you dealing with them I feel like this person has a tendency to come in whenever you're healing or whenever you're focused on yourself, they come in to try and dis distract you. So they're going to rush in toward you. For some of you, it's going to be out of nowhere. Give me another card in regards to this person's true feelings. Thank you. We have a few that came out. All right. So we have youthful. We also have ending and we have new beginning. So for a lot of you, um, this person feels if things ended between the two of you, they feel as though things ended prematurely or like, um, like the two of you are still supposed to be dealing with each other. But they want a new beginning with you. Even at the bottom of the deck, reconciliation. So this person is wanting to reconcile. See, for a lot of you, I feel like at some point, you may have been a little naive about this person. You may have had like a blind trust in them or, you know, you just wanted things to work out. So you may have... um turned a blind eye to certain things but i feel as though being naive when it comes to this person that's come to an end you're no longer naive it's almost like you were and when i say naive i don't mean that in a negative way i just feel as though this person saw you as someone very pure because even the skates here, they're white. So I feel like this person saw you as someone pure. They saw you as being very genuine. Um, and so it's like they tried to take advantage of that. There's something that was innocent about you when you met this person. They saw you as someone very, you know, almost like childlike and i don't mean childish i mean there was just something you know how a child has just like a blind trust that's how they saw you but see that's come to an end they want that back though they want that trust back that's why they're wanting a new beginning with you for some of you they may try to reconcile with you through friendship okay like let's just be friends or let you know try to talk to you or just converse with you at times let's just you know go out and have a good time as friends but it's all really to reconcile it's really to have a new beginning oh my goodness this was a lot i'm gonna get one more card and then we'll end the reading give me one more card please holy spirit in regards to this person's true feelings for my viewers currently that card flipped over i'm not sure when but it says choices so this person, they feel as though you have different options. They feel like you have different options. For some of you, this person may have chosen someone else over you at some point. Um, they may have been playing games. Yeah, 
they may have been a player and now they're regretting that choice they made it's like they beat themselves up like dang why did i play with her or why did i play with him hmm. so they're regretting some choices that they made Ooh, this was a whole lot of a whole lot a whole lot of so yeah, they're gonna come rushing in when you least expect it. And like I said, they're wanting a new beginning with you, but this person can't be trusted. They can't be trusted at all. Hmm. All right, so that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.